surprising results this morning on veteran suicides. What a new study has revealed about the hotlines that are supposed to be helping vets. Plus, a Texas congressman working to fix issues with a VA clinic in El Paso. What his new plan focuses on when it comes to very long wait times and helping veterans get the care they need. Thanks, Matt. Surprising results from government study on veteran suicides. It shows the VA suicide hotline has allowed crisis calls to go to voicemail and is struggling with adequate staffing. This morning, a teenager is recovering after being impaled on the basketball court. An app developers call Uber for Kids is about to hit the market. And much like the popular ride-sharing app, Massachusetts-based Zimcar is offering busy parents rides for their kids at the push of a button. The only difference, developers are working to make it safer than Uber, promising stringent background checks and allowing for live streaming video monitors of their child's ride. Hired drivers can earn up to $35 an hour. The app's first test drive will be in the Boston area the first week of March. And on the heels of this weekend's primary in South Carolina, Cruz has released this ad. From Oklahoma parents who are happy knowing their local small school districts are safe from consolidation for now. The House bill aimed at keeping funds raised for Oklahoma animal rights groups in the state is about to be considered. It's available for students at Altus High School after a weekend crash that killed two of their classmates and a student from Navajo. House Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump is threatening to file a lawsuit against Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Some Florida residents are dealing with the aftermath of a tornado this morning. Megan Hughes has more on the wild weather in some of the hardest hit states. Mother always said, eat your fruits and vegetables, so what's stopping you? A new report may have some answers, as Medwatch 7's Catherine Gilker tells us. A man faces charges this morning for stabbing his pregnant girlfriend, claiming the baby was a, quote, product of Satan. Tens of thousands of sharks are gathered off the coast of Florida right now. Why scientists believe they are there and what they'll be doing over the next few months. 